but I had to chime in here because as a pediatrician, what I hear every single day is, doctor, my child won't eat their vegetables. They hate their vegetables. They're very picky. Um, my toddler will not touch them, eat them, smell them. Okay. I hear this all day long. And as much as I sympathize and as much as I understand how difficult it is to get a toddler to eat what you want them to eat because they will do everything you don't want them to do. Um, but yeah, I hear this every day, but bottom line is, is that we as adults, children, we need our vegetables. We need our nutrients. Okay. We can all do better. Um, so keep trying. Don't give up as a toddler just get into their mindset. Okay. They are on the go. They're on to the next thing. They want to play. They're not sitting down for meals. They want to go to the pantry. They want to get their snack. They're hungry at random hours of the day. They're never hungry at breakfast, lunch, or dinner. When you have prepared the meals, they're hungry at like 9 PM or 3 PM when there's like no lunch or dinner being prepared. Right? So they go to the pantry, they grab their goldfish, their crackers, their fruit snacks, their juice, and then they fill up on that. And then dinner comes around and they're like, no, I don't want it. But if it's chicken nuggets or if it's, you know, mac and cheese or if it's pizza, I'll eat it. But otherwise I'm good because I had my snacks, right? So this cycle continues, right? And as hard as it is, we have to get creative with our vegetables. We got to uh, put spices and herbs. We got to jazz them up. We got to find creative ways to get them these vegetables because otherwise we cannot get it down them, right? So a couple things you can do. If you make smoothies, fresh smoothies at home with veggies and fruits, you can put fresh fruits and veggies in them. You can make it into a popsicle. You can freeze it, um, right? Kids usually are okay with popsicles. So that's one trick you can try. You can take a bunch of veggies. You can puree them. You can make them into sauces. You can drizzle them on their chicken or their um, rice or their beans or whatever. You can turn things into sauces, pasta, right? So find creative ways tasty ways to get vegetables. If you steam your vegetables and you put them on their plate, most likely they're going to smell it and throw it, right? So we have to get creative. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice because these toddlers will not listen to us and these kids, whether they're young or old, will do what they want. So do yourself a favor. Use the snacks for emergencies. If you're on the go and you need a quick snack, fine. You know, I'm not against processed snacks that the internet will demonize. It's okay if you have goldfish and crackers and fruit snacks, but we don't want it to be the only thing your child eats, right? So keep those snacks for emergencies at home. Keep them away, out of sight, out of mind. Put a bunch of different things in front of them um, that have nutrients, apples, peanut butter, yogurt, berries, carrots and dip, whatever. They might not touch it, but if they don't have any other option, they're going to have to choose the options you provide them. So don't panic. It's okay if they don't eat consistently in their meals. They might pick a little here, or pick a little there. Eventually, they will eat what's available to them. Unless, of course, they're a child that has you know sensory issues and is very picky and then you can't get them to eat anything. That's a whole different struggle. But for generally speaking, for most kids that are neurotypical, um, you know, they will eventually have to eat. So you just have to get over your anxiety, find creative ways and do the best you can. We understand your struggles, but bottom line is they need veggies. Okay. Try to get them in.